Hi guys, welcome back. <laughs> right, um, what am I turning? What am I doing today? Right, I'm going to do a few bits today. This, this is going to be quite packed, this one, with some different bits. I'm turning a birdhouse, okay? And I've got me a bit of wood prepped up, um, ready for what I'm going to do. So I'm going to be doing a bit of turning. This I do on the router table, okay? I use bird mouth router bits, which is one of these bits I've got in here now. Now, if you don't know about bird mouth router bits, you can make these up and they give you for doing these glue joints, okay? This is the other bit. I made this up. This was actually this length, okay? And you can cut that down so you can make loads of bodies up and turn them. Now, the bird mouth router bit, it gives you this on, uh, on your, what they call staves, right? and then you can glue them all up and you get different ones you can go from uh six segmented you can do eight um 16 uh, eight 12 16. i've got the 16 bit which gives me a pretty much a perfect circle there and for these bits the stripe bits all i do is before i glue them up see as i cut if you cut a load of these just thin little bits of strip, this is a bit of you. And then you can open up your joint, put all your glue on it, pop them in, and that's it. And all you really need to hold it together is elastic bands. It's enough to get it to glue, because they're such a good... So what I'm gonna do is just show you how I cut them anyway. Um, and there's two ways you can you can do them. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut, well, let me show you first. Now you can either do it, they're done by routing just one side of the piece and you'd route that on all 16 pieces. And then, like I say, when they go together, it gives you a perfect glue joint there, okay? Or you can do like this one, I've routed both sides, so you'd only do eight of them, and you'd have eight that aren't routed, and then you can put them together, and you put one either side. So you'd put one either side, then you'd put another routed one, and then another one, and another one, and you've got 16 all together, and you get this, finish on the inside of it okay which if you're a bit fussy you can do a little bit of sanding but i really can't see that any um any birds are going to come back and say look my interior isn't that great mate you know i was hoping to paint that or anything like that so but the outside this normally you would use half inch 12 12 mil thick wood i've gone a bit thicker because i want the the thickness for this so i what i'm going to do once i've glued it all up is I'm going to put that on my lathe between two jam blocks and I'm going to turn it round and then sand it all so I can get it nice and finished. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you've got to do a lot of hand sanding. I'm not up for doing that. So I'm just going to show you how the router, bits, router bit works, okay? It's just going to be a quick little go. This is my router table. I love my router table. <laughs> I don't get to use it as much as I used to, but I do now. And the reason I've got this one, this is a charmwood one, okay? The reason I've got the charmwood one, it's one of the very few that I know there might be some but there's none available to me and not in the UK it's one of the very few that has a complete solid cast iron table as in no insert going in but the router fits to and then that goes in the router actually bolts to the underneath of this cast iron table so everything is very solid very smooth everything's lovely smooth runs it's beautiful absolutely beautiful this one and I mean that comes with nothing. You don't get a router, you don't get the switch, you don't get anything. That's all mine that I pulled out on. And that's over 400 quid just for that table and legs. So they're not cheap, but really, really, really good. Right, okay. So I'm gonna turn, Lisa's gonna turn my hoover on because I've got the hoover connected, which takes everything from underneath. And I have my dust extractor, which takes everything from here. I've just got to pop the plug in for it. There we go, and it's all set, it's all set at its, its point, so I'm going to turn it on. A little bit noisy. Right, that's that's just putting that for the one side, okay, and then that goes oh, that way round onto your piece there. 
okay and that gives you that join and you've got a join there okay now if you do them like I said singly like that you'll you'll do each each one you'll do the same let me turn this off I'll take that out of there now and pop that because I'm going to need a socket over there in a bit take the I just wanted to show you how the route of it works and that is basically it so that's what we do beauty of that is you can make loads of these you can make different size ones so if you want to do segment you know it's like if you're going to do it on a table saw getting it all accurate this is dead accurate every cut is accurate every time okay and this is a bit i cut off of this this one because it was bigger than what i wanted okay and i just cut that off of my bandsaw but you can cut the rings if you want and you could actually if you wanted that's come off of there you could just glue them back on slightly staggered and you could get a nice staggered effect you could if you cut it into loads of one inch rings and it depends on how much you want to do gluing you could actually get a nice spiral effect on your pieces you could do different colors staves so you could change every other one change the color of it but i used to do a lot of this stuff um yeah when i was doing more of that i used to do a hell of a lot of these vases um i haven't got one here i've got it indoors actually uh serviette holders and things like that you can do it all put it put it on go on youtube and put in bird mouth route a bit so you'll see oh you can do some fantastic stuff with them they really are good i don't know where you'll get them from at the moment um i've had mine these these ones are like 20 years old <laughs> so yeah right okay enough of the waffle and talking but yeah you could as i said that was 14 inch so i've done them that long that one's bigger because i've obviously i've put the bits in it this is going to make another one or i can make a two i could you can make little little pots out of it just do a bottom and a top do a lid for it if you want you can do uh, it's, it's absolutely brilliant you just let your imagination go wild with you you can do loads of stuff right join me at the lathe oh hang on before i do that let me do my hoover i've got my yeah. <laughs> now if i was cutting and editing that would have been good wouldn't it, it would have gone big and i would have been over at the lathe That's it. and i would have been like good day mate <laughs> good. here we are good. right hang on i've just because I, I have this connected up to my dusting stroke there. Oh, so yeah, put it in. I've got to pop that back in there. So that I've got my dusting stroke when I do a bit of sanding. There we go. Right, okay. We pretend that bit didn't happen and we're cut and we go. Here Welcome we are. guys, now you join me at the lathe. There you go. As quick as that. We just put that on. Yep, we're all good there. And just pull that over. Yep, we've got good suction there. We're all good to go. Right, next bit I'm doing. I want to turn this and I want to sand it, get it round, okay? Now I have prepared some bits just to cut down on the video. I've done one. These are just bits of old four before post. And all I'm doing is making a jam because I'm going to jam it between two and then I can turn this, just give it a little bit and get it all round and nice okay so i've got to turn another one of these this is going to be the base i've already turned a tenon on it i'll hold that in my chuck that will remain i've just got to put a little slope bit on the bottom that's going to sit in like that the reason i've got that to go in is because i don't want water to be able to get inside this and if that sits on there water obviously as you know doesn't go uphill so that will sit like that and then the roof is going to be made out of oh i've got this this is some of the u that uh alan, alan bought no oh. david oh david this yeah. was david tires gave me yeah. and it, it was quite cramped <laughs> had some quite a few cracks it's got a nasty one across the top there i don't want to waste it but what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this for the roof okay obviously it's not going to be like it's going to be turned down i'm going to do an uh, oriental type roof like a, a japanese chinese type roof so we're going to do that with it and i'm keep it's not being hollowed i want it to be heavy enough and it's going to be it's just going to sit on top this isn't going to hang this is going to sit on a bracket and the reason i'm doing it is because um as you know guys nowadays it's a very sad thing but this is actually having a security camera put in it and the camera's going to sit inside 
and be out of there. So that's why it's good. I want it all, but I don't want it to fill up with water or anything like that, you know? So it's outside camera, but I don't want it getting filled up with water. So that's what I'm doing. And that's why I'm doing it. Right, so I've got to turn this one to fit on the other end. So we get there. Are you following me? <laughs> good. Well, if you can follow me, darling, I know uh, anyone can. I know it would be easy for everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay, let's get a tool rest on and let's get what we're here for, do some turning. Right, okay. Now, all I've got to do is, yep, that's all clear. Take this down, so this end down, so that I can fit this in. Um, I'm gonna bring a step center up because the reason being it's not overhanging a lot. I don't think I'd need it, but this is just fence post. Fence post wood isn't that great. The tenon could break. So I'm just putting that on for a bit of security, that's all. Just until I get the first bit taken down. Okay, and I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a carbide tipping for that, that little bit. Right, I'll start that up. Just gonna use the 14 mil. And that speed up. You know, speed up quite nice. Now, because we've got the corners on here, I'm just going to come across that. Now, I've got my handle down and rolled over slightly like this. Okay. I just want to take the corners off. That's it, just makes it a little bit kinder, okay? Now this has got to be, that's round, so I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna actually take this away now. I shouldn't need it. We're just coming down to round, so I'm gonna just check whether that's gonna go in. Right, a little bit more. I won't need that now. I just weren't sure when I first started. Just a little bit of stop and start just to see. Oh, where? Oh. Let's try the other end, let's see. Just to make sure, right. Tiniest, tiniest little bit. I'm actually going to, I'm just going to put a little paper on the front there like that. That should be it. Yep, that's gonna fit nice. Right, okay. I'll take my face shield off for two minutes. Put my chisel back up, just so you can hear me. Right, now, I'm taking this out. Now I'm doing this between two chucks because I've got them. Okay, so I've got a, a live center that I made this up myself, so don't ask me where I get them from. <laughs> made it myself. Um, this goes in here. I know you can buy them, but I must say, guys, they are bloody expensive. They really are. For what it is, it's something I might use once in a blue moon, really. Now, that will screw onto there. I'm not, I don't, over, I don't need to over tighten it. I'm not doing a lot with it. Okay, although I can get a span on there if I have to take it off with that. This one's gonna go into this chuck down this end. Okay. Now, if you haven't got a chuck, for, and you can't do this for that side, it's not a problem. Because you brought the towel center up, okay, and like on there, you've got your, your marks. This is my tenon end. So that can go in to that. And all you have to do, that go in for your jam. All you have to do is bring a, a life center up to that end and you'll do it between the life center. It's not a problem. You can still do it. Okay, I'm using two chucks because I've got them. Sim simple as that. It's nothing, nothing other than that. 
it's not that you can't do it another way or it's the only way or the best way it's simple and easy all right that's going on there that will go in there that will lock up there a little tighten and there we go i'm between two chucks okay <laughs> just jam chucks that's all it is so because i don't want to hold that i don't want to be it contracting into it and all I'm going to do, I'm going to take some light cuts. I just want this to be round. That's all it is. It's, it's just got to be round. So there you go. Everything's nice. Um, and when I come down, I'm going to make sure I've got nice straight edges on here. So I'll take a little cut in, tighten up, take a little cut in, finished. That's it. So I'll start that up, step to the side, make sure nothing's going to fly off. Shouldn't do, it's between two chucks. <laughs> A little bit more speed on it because I want to get a nice cut okay and for that I'm just going to use a roughing gouge because the spindle's all going that way so this is spindle turning Take it down quite a bit. Quite thick this wood. Right, be careful there because I've already drilled my hole. You don't want to touch there and have your finger go in the hole. <laughs> that would give you a, a nasty surprise. <laughs> right. Now I'm quite thick there, which is nice because it's nice and it's going to be solid. You know, if the birds are getting up to birdie things in there, then I won't hear nothing. <laughs> Um, I'm going to take it down just a little bit more. There we go. That all looks nice. And I ain't got to worry about any diameters inside because it's own, I'm not touching the inside of it. Right, so I'm going to move that away. I'm going to put some uh, dust extraction on. And I'm going to give it a quick little sand. Right. And try not to kill yourself. Sand and sealer on there. A little bit of sand and sealer, and I'm just going to put a bit of wax over it. Like I said, it's just going to be out, hanging outside, so I mean, I suppose really I'd be better if I lacquered it, I suppose. Which I probably, actually, I'll probably just put sand and sealer on and then I'll spray it once it's all put together yeah. and I'll lacquer it. 
Lacquer's going to be better, I think. Right, there you go. We've got some real shavings, but this is good enough. Gotta watch where that hole is. Quite a big hole. Don't want to get your fingers in it. Right, okay. Now what I want to do is just clean up Just want to clean up on these ends here, so they're nice and nice and clean, crisp. So right, I'm probably going to have a little try using my little danger tool here. <laughs> Just to there we go. That's in. Right, let me just see that and see whether I've gone right through on it. No, I can. Tiniest fraction deep, and I'll be right through. I can go into that, it won't matter, because then I'll move that up afterwards. I'm just going to come back in with that. That's it. I'm going to take that, I'm going to just give it a little wind. That's it. I know it's there with it again. Done. If it ain't got writing in the edges, it won't matter because I'll just give it a little sound. Right, that's it done. That gave me a beautiful cut on that, and I've got a lovely smooth finish. Okay, I'll take my mask off for a minute. Right, I'm now going to what am I going to do? Right, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to <laughs> undo this chuck. Right, so so back that off. Take that off so it all goes loose. That's it, right. That's off. That's come off. There we go. I'm gonna undo that chuck. See, I didn't do it tight, so I can just unscrew that. You don't want to be fighting with it afterwards to get it off. Right, pop that up there. Take our thing off of there. Right, I didn't quite get to the very end bit of that. I might have to take another little pass on that, I don't know. I thought I pushed right through on that. That's not a problem, I can sand that down in literally seconds. So I'll leave that and I'll sand that down. Right, that's done with. This is done with. Could have just pushed in a little bit more on that and it would have been gone, but I'll leave it at that. That'd be all right. A little bit of sanding on that. That's all gonna be good. Right, chucks off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the bottom. The roof is going to be the longest bit, really. Um, reasons beyond that, you'll see when I get to it. What I'm going to do, this is going to be the base now. So that's going to sit on there. Like I said, I've got to sand that a little bit. That's going to sit on there. All I want to do is put a, a little chamfer, okay? So I'm actually going to put a little pencil mark around that so I know where I'm going from. there and all I'm going to do is put a little little chamfer actually it would have been better if that was on the other side but it <laughs> doesn't matter I'm going to actually chamfer from that side anyway it's going to be in the chuck yeah. and I'm going to be chamfering from the back out so I didn't need the pencil mark that side really so I'm going to be working on the back of the of this piece and the reason I've done it that way is because that's going to be the underneath I'm just going to put a little tape but that's going to, as I said that's going to go on a bracket 
um, that tenon stays. So it doesn't matter for market, you're never gonna see it, it's gonna be glued inside. So it's never gonna be seen, so I haven't got to do any worrying about that. I'm just gonna continue that pencil mark all the way round. Just so I can see it. I'm just gonna take a little chamfer, okay? It's not gonna take long to do. And for that, I'm gonna use a spindle gouge, okay? That's that bit done, and now I'm just going to work on the front. I'm just going to basically, I just want it to be flat, really. Bump just I need to go in just from there. I'll okay, say this is going to have a bracket, so it's going to have a straight piece of wood going across the bottom. It's going to sit on that. Just take that soft, soften that edge. That is it, guys. That's it. Put a bit of sandpaper over this, not as needed, but and like I say, I'm gonna spray it so well it's quite not quite round, so I'll just take a little bit off of that. Up there. I haven't really done the sizing of it. I'm still bumping up a little bit on that end, I think I need to put the tool rest around so I can get in there.
Right, so, there we go guys, that's my base, that's all I wanted. For that to sit on like that, I want it to shamp, so any water just goes straight down, and that's it, okay? That's all there to be. Right, that bit's annoying me on that, I really need to sort that out there. Just sand it off. Sorry? Just sand it off. No, I should, I should have just gone in a little bit more yeah. on that thing. I'm going to do it very quickly. Um, and this will show what I was saying about I can do it between the centres. I should have... I thought I was in a bit further on that, so I should have just uh, checked it when I was doing it. But you know me, guys, I like to do things off the cuff. I don't... You know, if something needs redoing, I just... <laughs> pop it back on for a minute and redo it. Take seconds. Right, pop that back into that chuck. Gonna do it. Like everything all over the place and we'll do like I said I'm gonna put a, just so actually this is this is why I did this it's so I can show you both ways of doing it I thought it would be good if I show you the both ways of doing it so I'm gonna put that on there and this time I'm just gonna bring my step center up so if you haven't got uh, one of those chuck like two chucks Bring your step centre up, and there you go, you can do it that way as well, okay? Mm -hmm. So I've just deliberately done that so I could show you. <laughs> Gave you the opportunity, didn't it? Yeah, I like to show you everything, show you both ways. Mm. Right, okay. And I'm going to do, I'm going to turn that on, and I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place, not play around with all these silly tools, I'm going to use my firing tool. Now I've got to push it up a bit because I've just made that gap there. So it went a little bit loose. That's all right, that's back on. Oh, and again, and that's it, right. That's okay, that's tightened up again. And I've got clean ends. Clean ends. There and a clean end there. So right, so that's done now. That just need a little sand over got a little chip on that that's all right that won't be seen right okay take that out take that out get rid of those that's got to be sanded afterwards part and tool back up there chuck off of here And now we're going to put their roof, do their roof. Just the bed's the roof. So, stick chuck back on. Big jaws, I mean, four inch jaws. And we're popping this piece on. Now. Right, let me just say, what I've done here, I, this already had a hole for a worm screw when it was sent to me, so, I've got, I've left that, that's going to be the bit that goes inside at the, on the top like that. So that's not going to matter to me at all. It's got a hole in it. This is going to be the top of it. I just, earlier on, I put a tenon on there so I can hold it, so I can get the tenon on the bottom of here. Okay. And all I'm going to do is pop it in here. Like so. That's it, tighten the quarter. And now I'm gonna bring a point set, a cone center up, because obviously this has got a hole in it. And I'm doing this because this is quite a big chunk of wood here. It's got some cracks in it, so I've got to be careful. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be pushing and hogging away. I'm going to, Basically, take my time 
and go down and get, I just want to get the bit that's gonna go into the bottom of the birdhouse. So um, that can stay there for a minute. I literally, I want this, this size, okay? So all right, if I set my calipers up for this first off, so I'm doing this off the cuff, guys, so I, I ain't planned for... I've planned for some bits, but not for all the bits. All right, so that's marked up. So what I'll do first, because I know it's in the chuck and it's all right, I'll just get a mark on here first, okay, for where this is going to be. Excuse me, get out of the way. There we go. I'm going to be coming down to that. That just might give me a guide of where roughly where I'm getting to, and then I'll just do light cuts towards the end of it. Okay, so let's get that in there. That hold back. Like I said, I'm not worried about the hole. The hole's going to stay. It's not going to cause me any problems whatsoever. It's going to be inside the roof right I'm gonna put <laughs> right so okay let's get some speed on this right okay we've got some speed on it I'm gonna use carbide first I'm gonna use the square okay I'm not pushing in straight like that because this is a bowl orientation okay so I'm gonna be coming in from the side on so we can see I'm having trouble seeing where that line is so there we go now again there you can push straight in if you want to okay but to be honest, this is a bowl, and if you start pushing like this, right, what you'll get is you'll get all these little broken bits of shavings, okay? If you go in here at the side, if you go in flat, which is what they say to do, you're going to get those little crushed shavings. If you drop your handle, you've got a bevel, okay? A very nice bevel that you can rub. You can rub that bevel, look, no cutting, okay? And what you can do is you can just come in on that side and make nice little cuts. Now I'm only going in a little way because I don't want to make this too deep. But what you'll get is you'll get these nice long continuous shavings. Because you've cut it, you haven't scraped it. That's the difference. Right. Lesson's over. <laughs> Let's see how that fits. Right, that's okay. That's going to be all right. Slightly loose than I want, but I'm going to just make my next, because that's not deep enough. My next cut is going to come in, and I'm going to just leave it so it just goes like a little wedge on the bottom. Okay. So, again, I'm just going to cut, because this is way bigger than I want for a roof anyway. So, just come in like this, look. I mean, I can push in, I can push in the top, but you can see the difference. You start to get a little bit of gig, 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 gig. You don't want that. Just clean that up. This way, look, lovely. No, no mess, look. You can be quick. Roll it slightly. 
give you a nice clean finish there. Right, I'm just going to use my detail chisel just to taper that. There you go. I'm just putting a little taper because then when that glues on, that's going to push down nicely. Okay, right now the other oh sorry, the other thing I've got to do. Because I've got that where it's gonna I want to put an actual little um dovetail on this bit. Ah, don't do that. Pack it up. That's it. I know what that is, there's a crack there. Right, there's a little crack there. That's the way it's going to glue on, is that? I need the dovetail because I'm going to be turning this round and doing the top. Look, I've got a big crack down here. So, that should all fit up there. Let's, let me just check it. Yep, look at that. Dead tight fit, okay? When that glues on, that's going to be lovely. And that comes up inside, so no water is going to bother it. Well, this is the roof anyway, it's going to sit on top. So, I'm not worried about this. I'm leaving that. That gives the birds something to read. Not that there's going to be any birds in there because it's going to be a camera, as I said. <laughs> but you know the birds, they might try and push their way in. Carl, I'm going to have it all on camera, what they get up to. <laughs> right, okay, so now that mounts in my chuck and that goes up to that little chamfer, that little, that's, that's the shoulder, look. Perfect, runs true, everything runs lovely. Tickety-boo, right tight and a quarter and now I have got absolutely loads of wood to get rid of because this is going to be a roof this is going to taper in right up to a point up here I'm going to like that so <laughs> got a lot of work to do there so what we're going to do is we're going to bolt orientation people you might be very tempted to think use a, a roughing gouge on it don't use a roughing gouge on it. You will regret it, okay? Um, you could use your square carbide and just start pushing it in. But I wouldn't, because that's bow orientation. Especially with these cracks, what it's gonna do, you're gonna come round onto one of these cracks here and it's gonna go bang and take a bit off. All the cuts you wanna go. Now, if you was doing a bowl, what would you do? You'd come from this way round, wouldn't you? So, that's a lot of the way my cuts will go, is that way round, but I'm gonna sort of do both. I've got a crack at the bottom here, and I don't really wanna, I'm gonna have to see how that goes. I don't want to reduce its diameter, and I don't wanna reduce the height up here anymore if I don't have to, because that crack sort of comes up. I'm hoping it's gonna be, I'm leaving the roof solid, I'm not hollowing it out, so it should all hold together all right with cracks. And I can um, super glue it and do things like that with it anyway. So, right, what tool am I gonna start with? Right, okay. Let me have a look here, see what I've got here. Let's put a... That's a more rounded one. I'm gonna start with this one. It's got quite a big open uh, flute on it. I'll pop that on there for a minute. It's quite, yes, it is a big gouge, but I've got a lot of wood to take away. I'm going to bring that up just for now. Just to give me that little, actually, I, yeah, I will use that one. It's all right. No, I won't, because I don't want a point in it, do I? Think about it. Think about it. Although that's got a crack in it, so I'm going to be taking that down. But what I've got is I've got a, a cone centre here with no point. I've taken the point out, okay? A ring set, I mean a ring centre, not a cone centre, don't listen to, I don't know what they're called. I don't know, I, I threw the packets away, I don't know what they're called. Right, okay guys, I'm going to just make a few light cuts and see what, what happens, alright? Start her up. Okay.
Did I get you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, darling. <laughs> that was all a very quick backpack. Yeah. I don't want to lose any of the... I can feel that chip there. Yeah. I don't want to lose any of its diameter down there if I can help it all. It's, yeah, sticking up. It's a little... little where that crack is. I don't know how high I want to. I think that's going to be a bit high. I might have to take that in a bit on this bottom. And there's a look. I don't want to lose the diameter, see? So I want, let me check that crack and see what that crack's doing. It's up there. It's not too bad, that should hold, that should be alright. So, yeah, I think I'll go with, with what that is. I'm going to lose a little bit of the top yet because I've got a crack in that. So I'm going to come off this big gouge and go over to a smaller one, smaller tool. I don't know what one yet. Right, I think I'll go to uh, possibly this spindle gouge. I want to get rid of that. Hopefully that crack's not going to do anything on the bottom. And we're going to... See what that looks like because I know there was a crack across the top. See, right, I've got a little chipped off bit there, so I've got to go again on that. So I said I want oriental type roof. So we're going to be coming in from here. A moment. That's all right, I don't mind that. It ain't got to be a dead... There, that's good. Right, obviously I don't want it as shiny as that.
Now, I don't know if I want to do two of those or just the one. Sorry? It's quite a big one, isn't it? Sorry? It's quite a big one, so you Start the bulk out in that. Uh, I'll the out. Start this one. Right, hang on. This should get rid of that crack on the bottom now. It all good. Right, that all feels nice and smooth guys, so we're going with that, could be a little bit better just here. Right, that's okay. Right, now, I'm going to do a bit of sanding on that very quickly Okay. Right, this roof is going to be a little bit time consuming. Reason being because I'm going to bead it now. 
okay i want to do beans so i want to do it you'll see <laughs> you'll see to roll the bead on that bottom one. Mm -hmm. Couldn't have gone there, but I did. Never mind. Right, okay. We're good. We've got our beads. Mm -hmm. I want it, as I said, this is going to look oriental. I've got some Chinese birds going to live in it. <laughs> <laughs> Right, now all I do, basically, corner the paper, fix it, that's it, just one corner. Just, it's just a little, this is the, all the sanding that's going to be on this, guys. I don't think there's anything on that one. That's the one I had that little skill, a little shit running. I had a little mm. skill. <laughs> <coughs> right, okay. That should be all good. Let's stop and have a look. See what we've got. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got a nice pattern to it. Ooh. Right, now you can see I've not really sanded that, guys, but you can see the finish on that, okay? If you get your, get your tool control good, you'll get a nice finish like that, okay? Right, so now, now for some fun stuff, because now I'm going to, I'm going to do a bit of pornography. <laughs> You're going to be doing what? I'm going to do a bit of pornography on it. Pornography? Yeah. You burn it with a pen. <laughs> Don't baby. It's um, pyrography. Huh? Pyrography, not pornography. pornography. <laughs> you mean 
That's a totally different no, thing. No, I've got, I've got, I've got my little pornography machine. No, pornography. <laughs> right, okay, guys, skip oh that. Oh my god. Skip that one. I can't, I'm going to do a bit of. Pyrography. Pi, pi, pi rog. I'm not doing no pornography. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Watch our subscribers go up. <laughs> Do you know what? When I went in and I said to that woman, I need some tips for me pornography. <laughs> well. Oh, is that the one that you told me she didn't say you're a bit funny? <laughs> yeah, she tried to sell me some condoms. And oh, I said, God. you know what? I'll melt those in seconds. <laughs> Never mind. I, oh, what am I doing? I don't want that. Right. right let me keep concentrate now. You've lost me. It's totally different. I'm going to do some pie... Pyrography. Pyrog. Pyrography. Right. <laughs> Dropped your table earlier and broke it up. Never mind. Uh. Right, okay, guys. Now, ah, right, I've got to do some bits and pieces. I'm, I'm losing myself. Right, uh. let me just take two seconds, okay, to yeah. concentrate. Right, yeah. think of what I'm doing Think now. of what you've got to do. Right, okay. I've got to take my chuck off first. Yeah. You see all the new stuff here now, all the good stuff now, guys. I'm going to bring it around this way so you can see. Right, I'm taking this off because I'm going to I'm going to do a bit like how you do basket weave, but I'm not burning the lines into to this one because I, I don't have a bit of full mica and you can't really do that with a wire, not on a slope like this. It's going to skid. So I'm. I'm just doing the lines down it. I'm burning the lines. So for that, I need my indexing system. Now you did see, guys, mm -hmm. that I mean this this cost fortunes this indexing system because mm -hmm. as you all know, the ones on your lathe, absolute crap, total waste of time. Don't know why they bother putting them on if they can't design a decent one for you. Mm -hmm. Just don't give you an indexing system. Um, right, I've got my indexing ring that fits on there. Okay, my chuck goes back on. I'm not turning, so my chuck is only held on by a couple of threads. It doesn't matter. I'm not turning with it. I'm only moving it by hand. This is my indexing arm, okay? And this is my indexing holding arm holding system. <laughs> now I do, uh, I'm not taking the piss here, I do have a video on making this, okay? It's not up that. there, because no. I don't know how to do that. Got <laughs> a video on that. If you want me to show you how to turn something, no problem. You want me no. to show you how to put a, a picture or a video link up? No. Forget it. Go somewhere <laughs> else, guys. Right, okay. My indexing system, you've seen it. Mm -hmm. If you haven't, go and watch a video. See, I can move it. There it goes to that one. It goes to that one. It goes to that one. Um, so on, so forth, and so there. Well, therefore. Right, okay. I'm starting at number one. I've got number one marked on my system. Just make sure nothing's going to move. Right, my table is set at the height. So my pornography goes. No, pyrography. So that my... Good. Pyrography, Pyrography gun will come to centre, okay? Very important, it must come to centre. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that's going to take a little bit of time, guys. If you want, look, I'm going to be doing this for probably about, um, I don't know, five or six minutes, maybe ten minutes. So if you want to, you can just fast forward it. I won't be offended, don't worry. Just skip all the important bits. But you might miss some talk because I can you talk must. while I'm doing this. I can't talk when I'm rolling those beads because I end up messing that up. Uh, I know why I've got that skip there. Look, I've got a crack in there. That's why. Oh. That's where that crack is. See, it wasn't me. I do, I do know what I'm doing. <laughs> right, okay. I'm going to let my gun heat up. And then we're going to do some lines on here. Can I put one? Coffee, please, darling. I don't think I've got anything in it. And this should make a nice... Yeah, this indexing system, guys. These are... Top, top oh. of the range. Thousands of pennies. <laughs> look, look at that, look. Bang. It's so easy to adjust and you can make up. I've got all the different rings. I've got it from six, uh, well, eight rings up to 36 rings, whatever. You can have them all. Okay. Mm. Right. We're hot. 
Let's go, guys. Now, I'm not going to over burn it. I'm going to get it burnt. I'm going to do it all. But it will take time, you know, if you know anything with the pyography, guys, when you do it. It's not super duper fast, is it, you know? You don't want it to be, really. Right, there you go. First line. Take that out. I'll move one up, and there we go. Locked. See that, guys? An indexing system that works. Absolutely fantastic. No putting pins in, taking pins out. Everything's here where you can see it. I mean, I don't bother to number my rings because, well, I just haven't needed to. But if you want to number them, you can number them. And you know what? If you've got one lathe, if you've got 10 laves, this indexing system works on all of them. Whether you've got a midi lathe, a big lathe, whatever, this works. Absolutely fantastic. You'd think one of these companies would make one of these out of metal, wouldn't you, and charge you about 300 quid for it? They probably will. They probably will, will soon. They probably will. But like I said, they're going to charge you 300 quid to do one out of a nice little bit of stainless steel and call it the super duper indexing thing because they can't make a decent one to go on a lathe and charge you probably a couple of hundred quid for it but you could you could spend probably well i don't know scrap wood scrap bits of mdf scrap piece of wood, scrap piece of wood you could you know spend like 10 minutes making one and that's all it's going to cost you 10 minutes of your time guys you make an indexing system. Ah, oh, where did I go there? Did I go one or two? Right, hang on. Yeah, sorry. And <coughs> keep, keep concentrating on what you're actually doing. Well, it don't matter. If I've gone too far, I'll just come back and do another line in between it. But it's... Mm. Yeah, I have, haven't I? I you've gone one too many. Yeah. I've gone one too many. Yeah, one, two, three lines. One, two, three lines. I should be here. So there you go, as easy as that, I can just come back and pick it up. Oh, what an indexing system. I'll, I'll buy one. <laughs> See, not just a pretty face, you know. I can design things as well. I just love making things, guys. I love making stuff. You're very talented, baby. Nah, I just... I'm just happiest when I'm doing things like that, making stuff. Yeah, I would say we can all go out and just throw money at our hobbies, but to me, when you can make stuff, it's all about. That's what it's all about, isn't it? It's like going and buying a buying a handle or something. What, what do you want to go and buy a handle for? Make it, you're a wood turner. So I was looking at buying some little plastic pots to put things in. And I thought, what bloody idiot. I'll make all these pots and throw <laughs> them away. I'll just use some. <laughs> some of these you get, it burns. I mean, mm, yeah, it's all right. I don't it's mind right. it. It's how it's got to look. This is oriental. So, you know, this is what it's got to look like. It would look nice with the lines burnt that way, but... That would take me a long, long time to do, and I've not got that patience for it. And it's like this. Sometimes I'll go a little bit too fast. Sometimes I'll go a little bit slow. But it's all right. It's all fun. Like I say, you can always skip forward, guys, and come back at the end of it. I won't be offended. Go on, see if I care. <laughs> you bother me. Do I look bothered? Yeah, do I look bothered? Bothered. 
Just next time I say, remember what I said about that, guys? And you think, I didn't hear you say that. Well, there you go, because you skipped it, didn't you? So you missed that bit. <laughs> now you have to ask everyone else, and no one's going to tell you. I'm getting confused there. I know there's another line. Isn't these, yeah, but they're not. They're they're actually on the wood. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. But I was thinking. Hang on a minute. This is going a bit too close to that other line. What's gone wrong? But it, it's not. It's not. Everything is good. <laughs> it's it's the lines on the wood. Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do about this, guys. It takes as long as it takes. I don't cut and edit, so, I, I, you know, I could go, right, I'll bring it back when this is done. Well, you don't know, something might happen. This, I'm, the pen might go 40, I might get electric shock, and you would have missed it. <laughs> oh, God. Or the wood might catch fire, mm. and there'd be a bit of a panic and a bit of a laugh, yeah. and you'd miss it. Who knows what's going to happen when you cut it? Sometimes, you know, little things happen, don't they? Mm -hmm. We don't cut or edit anything. And actually, while I'm talking about this, guys, this pornography set. A pyrography. Py pyrography. Py pyrog. Pyrography. Pyrog. Py. Pyrography. Rog. Pyrography. Yeah. <laughs> this this pen per burning kit. <laughs> Guys, this wood burning kit, right? I think I told you before, this was 20... I should I paid 21, I think it was. 21.95 I paid for this. Comes with two pens, okay? It heats up in seconds. It goes cold in seconds when you turn it off. I mean, it does everything fantastic. £21. You know, when I was at the uh, Newark, 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 Newark I was looking, because I looked on the pyrography thing, because I'm quite interested in it, and I was going to buy like, 195 quid, and you only get one gun, at one pen, and you can buy another one, but it's another 30 quid. And I was like, mm, well, mm. I said to Lisa, I don't know, because I don't know how much I'm going to use it. I said, oh, that's a lot of money to pay for something I might use, and I don't use it a lot, I must admit. It's there. I should sign stuff with it, but, you know, I always forget. Um, I've never been one. I'm not a glory hunter, guys. I'm not into putting my name on things and stuff like that. I never have been. Um, but, yeah, so I, I said to Lisa, I'm going to have a look and see what they are on eBay. And I looked on eBay, I see these, and I said, well, they can't be much good. I'll give it a go. I'll, buy. I'll tell you what, I am absolutely so impressed with it. It's fantastic. Yep. It really is. Some of this cheap, cheaper gear, it's not all case of buy cheap, buy crap, you know, I'm telling you. I've, I've found a lot just lately, um, like I say, that little chainsaw I bought, absolutely brilliant. I mean, I can't believe how much it's got. Do you know, they've still got the, the one battery. I still haven't, I still haven't had to change the battery. And I've done, I cut, when and cut those logs, yeah. branches, those wet ones and everything. It's done so much. I've been cutting four by two with it. Everything. Um, absolutely brilliant. £28.50. I can't believe it. With two batteries. And then just recently, because I've got, or I know it's not the bestest of quality or, or top of the range. I'm not, you don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? Um, cordless angle grinder. I've got a works one because I've got the works drills and they all take the same 20 volt batteries. I've got a works one. And. Uh, I don't use it very often. It's now and again you want to maybe have the cordless angle grinder. And I can't. I think that was about 80 quid, 80 something quid, 90 quid, something like that. I wasn't going to pay out 200 and 300 quid for DeWalt and Makita's and all that. And I bought it. And it's absolutely crap, I'm telling you. It is really, you know, for, for bits of bar, like 16mm round bar, 
well, you're lucky if you get through one with it. And I bought that chainsaw, because I bought that chainsaw, they was doing the angle grinder. Now, all right, it's a bit dearer, it was 65 quid. Two batteries, the charge of everything, 20 volt or so. And I thought, oh well, never, I'll try it, I'll give it a go. So I bought one. Well, I am absolutely amazed at how that cuts. When I first got it, and I was going, I thought, because you put the, you know, you put your disc on, and it's like a bit clunk, 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 clunk. And I thought, oh, that sounds, that's got notching inside. You thought it broke it. But it's not, it's, I thought it's broken, but it's not. When you tell it what it is, it's got a break on it. You know, like an angle grade, you turn it off and it's, ooh, it takes ages to wind down. No, this stops within uh, literally a couple of seconds of you stopping. It's got a, a break in it. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, and yeah, I mean, I was cutting, I was cutting down loads of metal with it and it's got plenty of power there. It's, it's variable speed on it, which is very rare on angle grinders. You've got variable speed with it. It's four and a half inch one. Made by the same people, Sissy, Sissy Viz or something it's called. Uh, they probably, it's probably not pronounced like that in China, but um, probably just insulted someone. That's what that probably is. <laughs> but anyway, that's how I pronounce it, Sissy Viz. Yeah. And they're all, just on eBay, uh, absolutely fantastic. I cannot praise it enough. It's it's fantastic. If it if it lasts me a year, I'd be quite happy anyway. But I think they're going to last longer than that. I've, I really can't fault them. And it, uh, like I say, it comes with the two batteries, the charger. You get a little pair of gloves, you know, just to make it a little bit special. A couple of cutting discs. And brilliant. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. So, you know, if you're going to go anywhere and you might have to, you know, park where you might get wheel clamped. Yeah, don't matter, I've got an angle grinder. <laughs> so you take that off. <laughs> Think about it, guys. Sorry, this takes a bit of time, guys, but I'll, there's nothing I can do, you know. It's, it takes as long as it takes. So, yeah, I mean, as I said, guys, I don't I don't talk about tools I don't, I don't rate. I only talk about tools that I think are good and worth buying. And I mean, yeah, we can all go out and just pay. Well, we can't all actually. That's that's wrong to say. Not everyone can go out and spend three hundred pound on a Dewalt angle grinder or something like that, or you know, whatever they are, two hundred ninety five, two hundred sixty five, whatever it is. Not all of us have got that money to do that. Not everyone can do it. You know, yes, I can go out and buy tools. I just put them on my business, so it's not a problem to me. I can just go buy whatever tool I want. But at the same time, I don't like paying out. When I think, uh, you know, I don't think something's worth that amount of money. And things have just got so outpriced at the moment. As like I said, I like the uh, record power chucks. I love record power stuff. I mean, they've been established since, well, it sells you on the labels in 1909. You know, they've been established, record power. Their stuff's good. Their chucks are absolutely fantastic value. Um, the Nova chucks, much the same. You probably find they're all part of the same anyway. They all take the same jaws, which is yeah, absolutely wonderful. Same as the Charmwood chucks and stuff. I've I can't say I've really gone tried the Charmwood chucks. I have had their jaws, and their jaws are, are absolutely fine, no problem. Those sharp jaws are Charmwood. Those ones absolutely fantastic. Can't fault them. Um, and I don't say, you know, oh they're cheap chucks. They're not. They're perfectly good chucks. What I do say is the other ones are overpriced. These aren't cheap. These are realistic. The other chucks, they're just overpriced. Companies are just getting greedy and they're all going to come a cropper soon because people are not going to have this money to throw away. And they're going to be the ones that are going to suffer. Oh, that went all serious, didn't it? Everyone went quiet there. Because <laughs> you thought about it, didn't you? Yeah. Everyone thought about that. It's a true fact, guys. You know, we're being priced out of everything now. It's, it's getting ridiculous. You pay for a car now. What you paid 30 years ago, you paid that for a house. <laughs> now you're paying <laughs> it for a car. Yeah. 
You know, what you, what you go and pay, can't live in your car. <laughs> what you go and pay out for a car now is what you paid for a house when you go back 30 years ago, 30, 40 years. Well, 40 years ago, you're looking, you paid 10, 11 grand for a house. I mean, bloody hell, cost you that for a year's renting now, wouldn't it? More than that. So, you know, things just get so out of price, guys. And, and I mean, wages and earnings don't go up to match it. You know, you're not earning that sort of money, so it's, it gets ridiculous. Anyway, that's all the doom and gloom. Look at this. Look almost at this. Done this look. There. Nearly there. Yeah, done this look fantastic, eh? I think when you're finished, as well, you just colour that tip that. Well, on the tip there, look nice when it's all black. What bird? They ain't going to be happy to live in this house, eh? Mm. Although they're going to say, oh, in that pornography house, it's got a camera in it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> get caught on that, camera. That pornography that house has got a camera. <laughs> Hello, let's see how this indexing system's worked, guys. Absolutely mm. fantastic, isn't it? Eh? Yeah, I didn't charge for that idea. Mm. I think this is the last one. I think it is. Last one, guys. Okay, that didn't take long at all. That was about four or five minutes. Is that all? Yeah. It seemed like ages. Because <laughs> you're chatting as well, so. And I would like to say... Um... Well Randy, yeah. Randy, get well soon, mate. He's just had a hip operation done. Yeah. And he's going to be getting back into his um, wood turning, hopefully soon. Well, six um, to eight weeks. <laughs> yeah, six to eight Physio. weeks. But, oh, I was going to do that black on the end, weren't I? Yeah. yeah. Let me turn it back yeah, on. Yeah, I think just do the tip. So it only takes seconds to come back. Oh, look, it's back already. Look at that. Okay. Seconds. That's how quick this pen heats up. If you've got one of those more expensive pens, you might have to wait a bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> He's a git, isn't he? Uh. That bloke. He's always knocking our stuff. That's what they'll be saying. <laughs> right, okay. That's done with, and I'm going to take that away from there so I don't knock it off and damage yeah. it. Yeah, look, at that's, that's it. <laughs> the dust doesn't come with it. <laughs> so I, I had that myself, okay? <laughs> right, there you go. Voltage 180, 250 volt, 40H, 40, LH40 qualified, whatever that means. Okay, but that's the part you get those two pens. Okay, you get uh, about 20 tips come with it. Um, and you can buy them and you can buy the wire to make your own tips. Okay, and that is it guys. And you can go from one to number two. So you can't have both pens running at the same time, but you have either number one pen, number two pen. Which is fantastic because like there I've got two different size tips. So you can be doing some bit and then right change, put your other tip on and be doing something else. 21 quid that was. I think they went up to about 24. I'm not yeah, sure. In the end, but think... even if you was paying 30 quid for that, mate, I'd be I'd be really happy. You'd be happy if you pay if you pay 70, 80 quid for that, you'd be happy when that come, the way this works. It's absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic. It really is. Yeah. So so yeah, anyway, there you go, guys. So that, that's just a little bit of um, friendly friendly advertisement. <laughs> right, okay. Let's put me little table, oh, I broke that. I'm gonna have to, uh, I dropped, when I dropped that on the floor earlier, I broke it, look, I broke the corner of my table. Had to make another one. Yeah, I'll have to make another one. I've, got, I've actually, I've got some nice 18 mil ply over there, so I'm gonna use that. Right, now, obviously, you've got all the problem of taking your indexing system off <laughs> there we yeah, go there it is. <laughs> right that's that bit and like i said there's a video up for making that i did a video on making that indexing and because your chuck's only on light look at that pop that off of there there's our ring bosh and 
Look, just to show you, I'm not lying. All right, there you go. Look, I've got another ring, which is actually the same as, as that one. And then I've got that one, which is a 36. It says it on it, 36, that's how I know that. And that one's uh, that one's got 10, okay? That's got 10. And I do believe this one, the idiot didn't write on there, mm. is, is 20. <laughs> I'm sure this has got 20 here. So I've put my finger on that one. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. So that's... God, that was on the <laughs> chart. That's heavy. <laughs> that's, that's 20 segments on that. Okay. Um, and you can make as many, you can make as many segments as you want. Do whatever you want with it, guys. It's, it's to be your system. You do whatever you want. Now, look at that. Doesn't that come up fantastic? That's nice. Hey? Now, it don't need to, I'm going to, um, like I said, I'm going to varnish it. I'm going to give them co coats of clear lacquer. So I've... I've uh, uh yeah, I might rub a little bit of sand over it. Go on, do it. Go on, just do it. Do it, do it. Don't think about it. Do it. Mm. He who hesitates is lost. Is lost. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the saying goes in your head. Right. Apologies for the noise, guys. Nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Just with sanding seal on it, it looks mm. nice. Yeah, looks like get bamboo, that. doesn't it? Makes it look like bamboo. Get that rubbed in there. Yeah, apologize about the noise, just a bloke out of his motorbike. Yeah, idiots are worldwide. <laughs> chuffed about that that yeah. looks really really good i like that yeah. and doing it on the u mm. that made it it's all the patterns all the colorings yeah yeah i like it that made that nice didn't it right what i'm gonna do i've got loads and loads of shavings so everything's clear i'm gonna start my lab up quickly and just give that a little buff like so That's that done. I'm going to leave it on there for a second. What I want to do, I've got my, I'll put that there. I've got, I'll just use my sander and just go around the top of this very quickly. Put it together. together. <laughs> I'm not going to glue it at the moment. I've got a drill hole in here. Obviously, I said I've got to have a, a wire. Look at that beautiful finish. Look at that. I've got to have a wire go up through that. So that's got to have that done. So that sits on there like so. Okay, so that's going to glue onto that. And then the, the final bit. Right, I've got to first guide because my you know, the LCO. CO, the OCD. CO. Oh, OCD. OCD. The o OCD. I don't even. See. <laughs> the OCD comes out. I've got puppy chop back. It has a home. It lives there. And that's it's waiting to go back home. <laughs> right. There we go, guys. So, and I still got the the U. It was U failed 2017th, um, and it was sent to me on the first of May 2023 or something like that. Right. Oh, it looks really good. There we go, guys. That's my little um, little birdhouse. 
okay yeah and that's going to be glued up the the top i don't think i will be gluing it's got so, a lot of weight to it see because like it's i said guys this is going to go on a you want I've it to a, be able to take I'm it off anyway make an l shape bracket okay do yeah. a little bit of fancy scroll work on it it's going to be outside it just goes across the back of the garden there um it's going to have a little camera inside it so that's going to sit there and that's got enough weight to it i can just pop that on mm. it's not going to blow off or anything like that it's totally waterproof and when i need to get to the camera yeah. i can just take that off get in there and pop it back if there's exactly. a bird in there i can go and evict them <laughs> <laughs> give them a notice <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> and that's it guys um no water can go in because that comes up i probably shan't for a little bit further in than i wanted to i could have a little bit but i'm not worried about that this is outside water's gonna i'm gonna seal it all that's gonna have a, a bead put around the bottom of it because it's gonna be sealed but there you go guys there are let me know what you think in the comment yeah hey there we go look at that roof i'm gonna just come in and give you a little close-up of that roof look at that okay Beautiful, isn't it? Uh -huh. I like that. I do as well. There we go. I think I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. <laughs> I, I really, really think, think so. so. <laughs> right, anyway. Sorry if that's been a little bit long-winded, guys, but there's a few different bits to, to show on that. Bird mouth router bits. There you go. Let's see. That's what you get from them. That's how they look on there. Okay. But when you've done them, I mean, if you wanted to do vases or something out of them, you can, you can always do a cut on the inside or sand it or whatever. You know, you can go around, spend a bit of time, sand it if you want. Like I say, if you've got some, um, I don't know, you'd want something, oh, you'd want like, say, something like a, a thing that goes on your drill, like an arbor sort of fit. Oh, yeah, like, like a sanding <laughs> arbor, like that. And if you put one of the sanding mop type ones on, you could go in and you could sand up inside that just get one make one up make yourself a sanding thing that can go in the end of your arbor so they're like a flap wheel and you can... there you go guys just need someone that sells those arbors actually you can go on my website and they're on there there you go anyway <laughs> that's enough of that crap let's get back to this right that is gorgeous and i love doing these beads i learned to do the beads like that with your spindle gouge it's so satisfying it really is yeah. you know it is satisfying to say, yeah, I actually turned all those individually with a spindle gouge. You know, satisfying. Right, okay, guys, that's it. I'm just waffling now. I will see you on the next one. Thank you for joining me. And if you haven't joined me, you've really missed out today, haven't you? Because yeah. there's some good stuff there. <laughs> I will say, and don't forget, make yourself an indexing system. Guys, it's better than all that. Put that, oh, I've got one here, look. Got to find the hole, pop it in there, lock it, there it is, and then go, oh, Rolf, oh, hang on, oh no, did that go three, did it go two, all that, can't be arsed with all that stuff, it's make yourself one up like that, takes no time to do, and I've got a video on it, right, anyway, guys, that's me waffling, right, I'll see you on the next one, go on, off you go, enjoy, enjoy your, your day, it's, what day is it today, it's Friday, it's Friday, yeah, oh, there you go, right, I'm off out tonight, yes, we've got, um, Rock, rock, and and, rock and roll night, so that should be good, yes. <laughs> a bit of rock and roll dancing and stuff. Yeah, got an email through to offer us free... Two free tickets. Two free tickets. Guest. Yeah, special guest. Special guest. Yeah, and they don't even watch my YouTube channel. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Should be handing out cards when we get there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, I will see you on the next one, guys. And don't forget... Get yourself one of those and get on to doing your pornography. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> Don't do your pornography. <laughs> no. <laughs> Single pick, guys. In private. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys.